I think I've dropped to my back. Question mark. <laughs> I'm back, question mark. Question mark, he says. He says. Hoping that it's now it's now working. Uh show console game. Game's still there. Good. Good, good. Oh, I need to move it to my uh my other screen again. I've lost everything. Yeah, am I back? Can I get can I get a woof woof? Can I get a woof woof? Is it still kaput? I mean, it seems to be running. As far as I can tell, it seems to be running on me. Uh, on me other bits. Yeah. No. Okay. We are. We're back. We're back. So it's just. <laughs> just broke everything. Oh, look. Even that up there is. Even that up there is now not correct. Damn it. Um, But the variable should still be correct in the persisted globals yeah I mean so I'm not going to mess with it I'm just going to leave it as is because it will be correct the next time we update it <laughs> yeah I was a bit nonplussed I was trying to walk around still but I didn't realise that the game yeah, the game was still carrying on but I couldn't see it anymore because it, it froze at the same time as my stream broke I apologise that that for that, ship. everybody. I don't know what happened there. I think OBS crashed. Um, you might be interested to see if there was a, a reason in the log files. Show, upload previous crash report. Right, let me try the other one. Uh, help log files, upload previous log file analyze and then that usually tells me if there was any critical issues it was going on about one of my things causing max audio buffering which is weird so i might have to double check that hardware and accelerated gpu scheduler Admittedly, I I did I did turn that on last time I, rem I, I yeah last time I was on, but I'm gonna actually turn the GPU scheduling back off again. I don't know if it like, how much it can affect OBS. Apparently, it can it can do. So I've disabled it. I've disabled it and we'll just have to see if it behaves around properly now. Adventure into that beautiful sky. If I can if I can fix the variable, then then I'll try updating it again. Orbit locked. There it is, planet surveyed. I'll drop it back to 44. And then press the button. Where's the button? Starfield. Go. <laughs> Now it's now it's back to forty-five on both on both things. <laughs> so they wanted me to travel to other planets in the system. And sometimes it, it tells you where it wants you to go mission wise. Sometimes it doesn't. I find that slightly frustrating. I feel like it just wants me to go because I think it just wanted me to go to some of the other system planets, but I'm looking and I'm not seeing anything in particular. So we'll we'll drop we'll drop out. Well we'll give it a scan. This is new data. New data. Let's see. Yeah, it did. He wanted me to just go to two of the other ones. So we're going to travel to Altair, Alt, Altair 5, and then Altair 1. Right. And what he wants me to do is take out some ships in orbit. Engage and blow them to shit. 
shit. Here they come. It's all right, I can uh, pick them off from here with my space tank. We've got three of them to try and deal with. I'm gonna get you a little fishy. Wrong place, wrong time. Yes! Yes! Their shields are down. That one's almost down. Yes, nice. Okay, next. Hang on. There's a level four. I strove around them. Gone, gone, gone. Right, another scarab. And maybe we could try and board this one, try and get the try and get to our ten ships. We needed. What I'll do this time then is lock onto the engines like this. And then hit it. However, am I gonna make it in time? Just just managed it. Whoopsie! Whoopsie! <laughs> what, what do you mean, Barrett? What do you mean, whoopsie? Ship is now docked. Okay, Perfect. board. Watch for corners or hiding spots. They know this ship better than we do. Oh. Why was he? Why was he looking like not towards the uh, airlock, which is the only uh, the only place we've come from? Wait, where's my grenades? Oh, there you go. Not like this. Not like this. Because I have three grenades, so I might as well use them. And I've still probably got more on me. Low on health. That's alright. I think we did it. Yeah. Now they're all finished off. I will go and rest in their beds. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the ultimate it's like the ultimate um, I was beginning to wonder if you hibernate it's like the ultimate uh, bitch slap isn't it kill <laughs> kill all the crew and then sleep in their beds <laughs> it's like Goldilocks gone wrong <laughs> oh dear I'll save it that yeah An emergency kit oh, they're really useful Equinox we'll find Equinox Yeah. Imagine that though. Imagine you were like a space, a space, a space bounty hunter, but then all you ever did is, um, damn it, more black market goods. I hate black market goods. But there you go. Yeah, I've taken everything I could from the ship. Should I, should I claim this ship? But then we go back. We go back to the other one. If I click make home, it will say it'll all be returned to this. And then I can do register. Then I can't switch back to the Mossagata straight away. No. Oh, that's annoying though. It came up in the corner. Kepler R is returning to base. It didn't come up with the name of the ship. It came up with like no the done. original Good ship. Brain. Well, I should have plenty of repairs, so we'll give it a repair at least, and then I guess we'll take this one into battle. <laughs> Although whether it's uh, it only has ballistics, this it doesn't have it doesn't have anything else. No, I'm, it's probably better for me if I do switch it back over then. It's with the engine. Engine's powering. Feel free to show off now, Captain. Okay, we can we can move again. Although kicker is going to be that I can't uh, I can't take the items can I? Because the, the, the hold's going to be full now, It's taking a long time to power up the engines Did I lose a bunch of my crew? Don't know So it's very good at turning this ship. Yeah, it's gonna say it's gonna say that I can't pick it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
yeah, can't do it. That's all right. What we will do then is go make a drop off again. <laughs> As I said, this will be worth doing though, because it will get me to the um, it will get me to the ten ships for the achievement. We collect just one more. Yeah, drop by Port Naga. <laughs> we'll drop by Port Naga and uh, do one. I was going to ask Adam, what would you what would you call a base? You, did, you, did you pick a name before for a base? No indigenous life signs. One last thing to worry about, I suppose. I think I have one at the minute that doesn't have a name. Looking well, my friend. Here's the contraband cash. So, one day I'll I'll find a ship that we can use to uh <laughs> take all this contraband back. <laughs> Because at the moment, I definitely cannot, cannot take it back. But at least here, it's easy to, on our, on our way to New Atlantis, we can, oh no, I fell. I can drop it off here. And then proceed back into the ship. Hey, free med packs, free amps. Before we, you know, sell it in Erin. Yeah. Once back on board. Actually, I wasn't overweight. I could have fast traveled from where I was. Huh. A biggie. We'll get, go back to New Atlantis. Now, I'm rubbish at naming things. All my No Man's Skies ones are named after the resources they have. <laughs> we could make it Adam, Adam related. We could make it the Tea Time Temple. Hmm. That would be a good name for a base, for a, for, a, for a base, I think. Uh, we just want to go straight to the shipyard. Hmm. I'm trying to think of things related to tea. <laughs> Is it weird? I kind of want a cup of tea now. I shouldn't though. I shouldn't. Like we, 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 we've got, we've got, we're gonna finish off this quest, and then I'm getting, I'm going to bed for work, work tomorrow morning. <laughs> you should six, six a.m. start. Um, if you modify my ships. Okay, no problem. No problem. And that's the new one. It's not giving me the option to. What do you want to call it? But that's all right. Here's the frontier still unedited. Go back to the Moscato. Moscato. And then we'll head back to the star map. Take the take this back into battle. Yeah, because I wouldn't want to take the other one into battle when it doesn't even have lasers to take off the shields. <laughs> so <laughs> I think it would end pretty badly that. There we go. Yeah. We fast travel to the second second set of ships to take Bring out. <laughs> Start on the level four ship. Go on. My sh oh, damn it, is my shield gone out of my energy again? Why does it keep doing that? <laughs> it's alright, it's alright. We've managed to we managed to take out one of them. And now I'll take out the other two. What level are the other two? Are they the same as the first? Set, uh, group. No, that one's level 10. So take out the 10. And then we'll, we'll keep the 18 in case it's a good ship. It might not be, but the, the higher level ones I'm assuming are worth more money. Target's grab drive is down. So, so sorry, folks. Yeah, bye bye, guys. Okay. The scarab is the one left. Turning around. Here we go. Ready. Locked. Name of the engines. Fire. And take it out. Did you just see Pop goes their engines? <laughs> if the game had a tea time temple, I'd probably spend all my time there, to be fair. 
<laughs> the tea, ta tea time temple. The tea base? Assume the worst. Tea town? Yeah. Oh, hello. Are you alive or are you already dead? Space of scum is already dead. What's a tanto? Oh, like a little, like a little stubby, short, swordy thing. How is he already dead? I've just come on board the ship and he's already dead. Are they all dead? No, are you dead? No, that, that one's not dead. Is it just them two on board? <laughs> is there no one else on board? <laughs> What's the deal? That's funny. Oh dear. Hmm. Did he take out his uh, shipmate for like failing to be good in space combat? <laughs> Does seem to be it. And I'll loot whatever I can from the ship again before we eat, before we get this achievement then. So, Tuxton, la la la, harvested organs, pilot seat. So if I sit in this, will it auto claim it and I get it or not? Do I have to register them and all? I might do. Let's undock and then see what it see what it does. Let's see, go to ship. Now it's gonna say, yeah, one out of ten. Both the same, aren't they? Though slightly different modules, I think. Right, that's ten. Hey! There it is. Fleet Commander, collect ten ships. Right, now, now we're going to go sell a bunch of them, so I've got some more spaces in case we find... Because obviously in this game you can find ships, so I don't want it to get to that point without us... Um, uh, you know, don't want to find another one without us having a slot to actually be able to put them in. <laughs> so I need to clear out the shit ones I've got. But that's it then. I don't know how many uh, achievements we've got now, actually, in, in, in all honesty. It'd be interesting to know. 22 out of 50, so we're almost halfway. We're almost halfway for all the achievements. <laughs> Though that's not really, you know, that's not our real goal. Our real goal is to visit every planet survey the entire game and as an actual geologist would and not just the way the game wants us to do it <laughs> right let's get rid of this other contraband misc harvested organs it's done over encumbered so now we can star map fast travel to the starport it's annoying it keeps being on the back of the planet but it is what it is. Hello, Jung! Thank you for the Wilson. I made a new, uh, made a new, oh, that's not it. I made a new layer and I made a new TV, but I don't think it's working. There's Jung, he's joined the battle. He's ready for the, uh, ready for the end of stream fight. To determine the VIP. I don't know who, who is, who is VIP at the minute? Oh, yeah, that's the new one. Uh, Oh, it's Saku. Saku from, from last week. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Perfect. So we're need back. Work done? We're Got anything you need to offload? Trade authority is always by. View and modify. Okay. No problem. So we can then sell. But I have to then register them in order to sell them. That's a reactor A. So yeah. No, I'm not. I don't want that. Um... That's why I have two scarabs. Is that one not? Is that one not registered? Or did it auto register? Because I don't remember. I don't remember registering it. Frankly. Yeah. Okay. I'll find a hat. Let's see. Does this still work? With the yeah, it does still work.
Oh. You know what? I've I've decided to take I've decided to take the opportunity to put on this. So I think it's a bit big. <laughs> I think it's a bit big. But I did I did get I did get a Starfield jacket. I did get the Starfield jacket. So it has a constellations patch there and everything. And then I can wear my constellations hat with with I mean we can wear it over the top. <laughs> Not that it fits properly. I don't know if the Oh, OBS crashed, so my colours my colours on my camera and stuff is probably wrong. Hang on. Let me have a look. Is it is is my camera all messed up? That might be why I feel like I look really weird today. Yeah, 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 I do. That's why I was like <laughs> <laughs> That's why I try to just take green screen my teeth, because the 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 set the color settings and everything on my te on my on my camera are completely buggered. But yeah, look, I got this. But I what I I was worried about it being too small, so I didn't. I normally just always get larges, but I I bought an extra large, thinking I needed it to be bigger. But the sleeves are slightly too slightly too long, so I think I should have just got a large. I don't imagine it'd be easy to return now, but there, there we go. That's... <laughs> I was already on the main screen. Yeah. Looks like you went for mountain hiking. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my plan was to to get one that I could put all my patches down the arm because I got a bunch of different patches now. Um, at least, or at least when we find out what they what they're for. Well, maybe I could put the other patch there because I've got one of them where it's got the little thumbs up. So maybe you can put that there. I don't know. But you're right. It, do it, doesn't, it doesn't look completely normal, does it? And actually, this looks really weird over the top of the headset. <laughs> the other thing is it's probably going to get really, really hot. It's probably going to get really, really hot wearing it like this. Um, but then again, when it, gets to, when it gets to Christmas, I'm probably going to want wear, to wear some stuff like this anyway. <laughs> and then this says on the this says on the side it says into the oh it's hard to it's hard to do it's hard to show you about it it's backwards isn't it that way that way into the star field yeah yeah there you go this is made this is made by um, a uk uk clove clothing developer um but yeah, actually, I think I mean I think this I think this will be very nice for like if I was wearing a hoodie or, or a jumper, I'd be able to wear this over the top. So in some ways, it's not bad, but it's just a lot bigger than I would have liked. I guess what I really wanted wasn't like a jacket. I think what I really wanted was was an actual hoodie. <laughs> and this isn't this is this is like a proper this is like a proper jacket, not an actual not an actual hoodie. <laughs> That's all right though. I don't mind. Um, What were we doing? Oh, we wanted to we wanted to sell I'm the sure ships. You can find something you like. We wanted to sell some of the ships we've got. I might as well just sell the ones that have small. Yeah, I might as well just sell the ones that have small. Sell that have small. Uh, reactors. Because they they you cannot sell your home ship. Bollocks! Did I not change it? Oh, what a pain. Okay. Uh, view and modify ships. Okay, no problem. Then go back to Mosagato, home ship. Right, then go back. Then let me see your ships. I'm sure you can find something you like. Yeah. Then sell my ships. Right, and then I can sell I can sell these ones that we've we've gone and found. So yeah, 16 credits credits for that one. 16,000 credits for that one. We have this Eclipsic Cutlass, which is a, re a B reactor. I'm thinking then that's better than the pirate ship we have. Though in some ways I kind of like the design of this one. But I know that does have a better reactor, to say. It doesn't give you any other stats though, does it? Other than if you look at the actual parts oh oops i didn't mean to I'm back sure out i'm sure you can find something you like that's right annoying 
How was your weekend then, Jung? Do you have a you have a good some good stuff? Oh, you buy it coincidence because you saw it in a clothes store, or you ordered someone to design that jacket for you. Well, yeah. Oh no, this one. No, 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 no. This was um this was on. So there's like I said, there's a there's a UK brand called Insert Coin that makes that makes gaming clothing. Uh, and they were they were they were selling this particular bomber bomber jacket is what they called it bomber jacket starfield bomber jacket there hasn't been meant there hasn't been too much starfield um clothing on offer yet okay got it yeah it's still frustrating like when i'm in the menus as i've said when i'm in the menus you can't read the the chat gets really messy because it's got all this other crap on top of it <laughs> right but we're not selling the frontier we're not selling the Arakoff, although mm, that's a B reactor anyway. Varun him. Dagger. The dagger. Now the dagger I'm keeping, at least for now, the liquid spacer. Register. Oh, I still have to register it to then sell it. Oh. Okay. No, I'll solve the I'll solve the pirate ship. Admittedly, I said we, we really just want two slots for me to build my own, and then everything else I'm keeping as the way they were because they're ones that I found in game. For now, anyway, even if I rename them. So that's the Kepler R that we got for a quest. And the the other one was the dagger that we got. Technically for a quest, kind of. Like it was the quest led us to a specific base, and in the base there was this free ship just parked there. So I imagine it's the same for everyone if they find it. Uh weekend was good. I think yours yours too, right? Yeah, yeah. Mine was mine was fun. Mine was fairly fun. Right, let's just try and proceed back to where where we're trying to do this damn quest. <laughs> I was I was super lazy at some of it, and I just uh, I just I just sat there and read read for all of the um, the manga for Jujutsu Kaisen because I've been catching up on the anime, but it just reached the point again where I basically lose patience. It happens it happens far too often often with anime. I lose patience and I can't can't wait anymore for like the next. The next the next episode so i ended up just going to read the read the the manga or the novels or whatever so i can find out what happens next <laughs> i'm too impatient sometimes hydrocarbons in abundance let us see how they have arranged themselves okay Hydrocarbons in abundance. Oh, is she talking about because there's organics everywhere? I guess that would be it. These are they end of fire again. Every single time I come back here. Every single time. There's just tons of them. But then again, I guess the point is that I got rid of the ship so they don't have any reinforcements now. You know what? I should um, I should drink a cup of tea as well, shouldn't I, and get some bonus XP out of these guys? Because I'm having to clear so many of them at once. There's a tea. There you go. You can't stop doing practice choreography. Get here! Anything! Choreography? Like uh, like dance choreography? Die! 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 He says, Die! Die! Hang on. Where's the? Oh. Where's the enemies gone on my radar? Or is it because they've they're being over right, they're being overloaded with the with the blue dots to tell me there's one up there. Gravity's high here though, so I can't easily just jump up there. There's one. I mean out here in a battle like this, it might be easier if I go back to using the Beowulf. Oh. And do you think it's going well, this choreography? 
My brother, my brother, my brother does a bit himself because he's um he does street dance, street and break dance. Whoa, was that a grenade? Something exploded near me. It seems to be go oh, there. Crap. Surprisingly, this weapon fires quite quickly for what is like a, a ranged rifle. Okay, we got left. There's one over there. I don't think I'm managing to get a hit on him very well. Is that more reinforcements? It better not be. I took out all the ships. They blew up the panel I was standing on. I did not expect that. It's on. It's on like oh. Donkey Kong. Oh. Miss your spacer. Which I'm gonna switch back to the Equinox. Oh, I was getting considerably more damage out of that. Oh. Want a grenade? Focus fire, people. Nice. So who we got left? Two. I think there's two. You're standing around for there's there's definitely some more guys to, to get. Or at least there was. You know, it's telling me it's right here. Where are they? Or is that to talk to We lost so many people? Oh it's it's to get two Torres. Right. Yeah, they're, they're bringing they're bringing in tons more spaces over here. Let's go, let's go wipe them out. Nobody's gonna miss you. That's what you think. I am the one that they will miss the most because I saved their asses. <laughs> Captain Wilson, space geologist, is a necessary member of the space crew. Happening? What? Getting shot? <laughs> Not worth dying over. Best you can do. Oh! Oh! Not very good at threatening me, are they? Was that was that an alien? Was he fighting a one of the one of the wildlife? Don't know what that is, but I'll take it. Oh crap! I'm on fire. They're firing lasers at me. They've got lasers. I should probably take a... Do we have any heart plus? Yeah, there you go. Oh, I took the wrong one. Well, this is how This is how one becomes a druggie. I can't see. Yeah, I can't see either, but... Oh, actually, I should be able to see if I switched to... Beowulf. Wouldn't it, shouldn't it be telling me where they are? Take your best shot. Yeah, like that. Apparently that's behind cover. So I'm not going to get them from that angle. How many guys are they sending in then? There just seems to be tons of them. Are we still on the ship? There is somebody still down here then that's shooting me. Oh, there's a spacer there. Still got, got too much ammo for that. No, no. Stick with the laser. One. Cute. I feel like it looks like they're making a charge over hills and dales. But it's your it's your loss, guys. Uh, 
How many more we got? One? Is it just that one? <laughs> Cannot defeat me, space. Junkers. Aha! I have found the punk! What's their what's their purpose actually fighting in space? I don't know. I don't really know what their goal is. Space of punks. Yeah. Like I don't I don't really know what their ultimate goal was because they haven't really achieved anything, just got themselves shot. Really didn't work out in their favour at all. Right, where's Mr... There's Lieutenant Torres, right. Hello. They're all defaulting back to their normal standing positions. Hey, go on. The scientists here are good people. Every one of them that died is a loss for all of us. So many people. That's the price of command, Torres. Every decision leads to blood. To blood. You can drive yourself crazy with counterfactuals. Focus on the good you did. We did, here. Sometimes you can't forget what was lost. Uh, everyone here is alive because of cooperation. You do the best you can every day with every decision. Everyone's alive because of cooperation. Yeah, let's do it. Huh. Well, just don't go saying that too loudly. Why? Altair's safe because of you. Oh, because they're UC Both and Rangers. I almost want to write back to the Freestyle and ask them to give you a medal. <laughs> now, wouldn't that be the damnedest thing? I could put it on right next to my meritorious star. Meritorious? You'd save me a court-martial if you just give me your thanks. Might be you want your medal, though. Take credits over a fancy bit of tin. Some recognition would be nice. <laughs> I don't know, do, do we feel like my space geologist likes to get recognition? I mean, scientists generally do like their recognition. Yeah. He can be, he can be a little bit, he can be a little bit arrogant. It's certainly earned. <laughs> I'm... I'm not sure if I would have done all this if the roles were reversed, Myung. But I will never forget you. You're young and you've got a future ahead of you. A mm. bit of advice. I've been passed up for promotion more times than I can count because I've always stuck by my principles. There's a million ways the bastards in command will ask you to compromise. Little ways, big ways. Don't. It may hurt your career, but I look back with pride at my service. Especially today. Hmm. Okay. I didn't peg you for a philosopher, Captain. I'd listen to that advice. You see? I sincerely Ioni. hope I never see Ioni. you across Ioni? the lines on the Who's battlefield, Who's Ioni? Captain. Jung. If you do, Lieutenant, I will do my duty. Not if I do my duty first. <laughs> Soldiers, it's time to get out of the Free Stars' head. Korean Ioni. I don't know, do you know who she is? I'm not, I'm not familiar with her. Oh, right, that seems to be it. And then they gave me... They gave me, what, a peacekeeper? It was my honor to fight alongside you. Hmm. What do you think of Torres? Torres is green. No two ways about it. Sister but there's on more Korean. to command than experience. There's heart. My guess is Torres has a bright future ahead of him. I'm not familiar with it, Jung, but that's interesting. You know who she is, then. Um, you sure, you sure you're sure you see officer? Torres' good heart isn't enough to save us. True enough. To get out of this, the price will be paid in blood. Hmm. What are you doing in Altair? We operate a refueling depot. The brass back home got tired of spaces hitting the damn oh, place. Right. <laughs> so they sent us. As soon as we showed up, the spaces went for easier targets. It's been one hell of a boring assignment until now. The stew is summoned a... Uh... A, a, a I will wild, not lie. I wrestled with it. We listened to the distress calls for <laughs> hours, and it gnawed on me. 
At a certain point, I just couldn't sit on the sidelines and let them die. Myong, Myong is a very Korean name. Ah, Jung. Okay, I see. Uh, I couldn't just sit on the sidelines either. You being here proves that. Since I've been here, I know what I did was right. Lieutenant Torres may be green, but he's a good man. His troops are brave, worthy of their uniform. Together, we have a fighting chance. It's funny if she's I saying this, but the fight's this already over. Doggle, at least I can look myself Tell her you'll chop her face off. Why would I? I wouldn't chop her face off. Stay safe. My character wouldn't chop her face off, would he? These damn spaces. <laughs> Too many of them. And now it's... Oh, now it's defaulted back to a different quest. Although, hang on, why is it... Why is... Where's the... Uh, where's the quest defaulted? Like, wh where is it taking me? That's the... It, yeah, there's SSN woman. I'm just turning that off because it's not... Yeah. I think that's it, though. Look around. Savor this. It's a pure geology movie. A pure geology move, chopping people's faces off. Maybe. <laughs> we've got this one here peacekeeper so it's um but it's not a peacekeeper it's it's a, what kind of weapon is it again it's not the same kind as the one i'm, I'm already using is it the triple the double the the aa99 is it an aa99 i think it is so it's, it's the same version as the one I'm currently using. Yeah, it is. However, the Peacekeeper is, because it's not uh, advanced, it does significantly less damage. But it's still nice that we found another named weapon. So I'll write that down. What was the name of the... What was the name of the quest line? We just did... Ooh. I wasn't prepared for that. That gave me a surprise. Trapped in Antarctica. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, John. <laughs> I said, I said, I still need to do that. Checking minerals embedded in their heads. I mean, if it was a person made out of rock, like it was a troll, maybe, maybe, maybe a geologist would want to check out a. Uh... <laughs> Though it'd be a pretty, it'd be a pretty assholey job ge geologist if he, um, if he decided to tap into some into a, into a troll's head. Regardless. <laughs> I'll look it up. I'll, I'll, I'll memorize what it is and we'll figure out what weapon weapon it was. Ah, right. We're switching, switching screens. So this is a, this is our, this is our, this is our Starfield jacket. It arrives to. Although I, I realize now maybe I went, I, I, it's got, it's a bit big. <laughs> it's a bit bigger. I should have, um, than I was expecting. I should have, I should have, I should have maybe gone for a large rather than an XL because it's slightly too long. I never buy XL ever. I just thought this one. Um, I just thought this would be. It's got the patch on it. It's got the patch on it. I just thought this would be the right uh, size. But then again, I guess it would be the right size if I like want to wear it outside and I want to wear like a. Because if I was wearing a jumper underneath it, I wouldn't be able to wear this over the top. So I think actually it is the right size for if I wanted to wear something else with it. Because at the end of the day, it's like a. It is more like a jacket than it is a. Uh, than a than a than a hoodie or something, but I think that's kind of thing. I think what I really wanted was a Starfield hoodie, not a Starfield jacket. But it's still it's still pretty nice, and it'll be good for it'll be good for winter when it's cold. It's cold. You look like you're playing outside on the on the on the moon. In some ways, yeah. In some ways, in some ways. Which one? Which moon was this one again? This was Callisto. This one's Callisto. We can just see Jupiter, Jupiter's rings over there, in the corner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right then. So we've come to the end. We're gonna be we're gonna be continuing our survey of Saturn's. We're on Saturn's moons tomorrow. Should we switch and we'll have a quick a quick gander again? Which one will we be on? And also remind myself which one we damn well did today because I already I already can't remember. Yeah, yeah, we did Mimus, Mimus, Mimus earlier. So I think tomorrow it's... Does anyone know how to pronounce that? I'm not too sure how to pronounce it. En... Cladus? I'm not too sure. <laughs> when are you playing Baldur's Gate 3 again? I, oh, I don't know. 
<laughs> I can't keep jumping back and forth between games. We'll never get anywhere if I keep doing that. <laughs> unless I get, unless I, unless we get them for game requests again. I haven't decided what to be able to do with um, Friday. Stu says it's S Aldus. S Aldus. All right, all right, okay, okay. Yeah, no, that's not bad. I'll have to remember that for tomorrow then. Let's just be able to say it. Phonics. You still say phonics as if that's been something. En... En... Ensa... Aladus. Ensa... Aladus. Hopefully that sounds about right. Ah, ah. We're going to have a chat on TV because we are. We're going to have a fight. We're going to have a fight. Ayn's in there. Everyone's, everyone's here today. Everyone's here. So this is your chance if you would like to get the telemote ready for tomorrow. Break it down syllables. Enceladus. Ens, Ella, Dus, Enceladus. Yeah, I guess that kind of works. There we go. I guess I really am just not good at doing it that way. <laughs> but I try, I try. Right. Choose your fighter. If you haven't done so yet, say something in chat. Your avatar will spawn below. And then we'll proceed to the battle floor. I will give you all five seconds. Four, three, two, nipples, says Stuart. <laughs> Let's do this. Adam, John, Wilson, Stu, and Ayn. Everybody fight. Adam's taking a serious beating straight away. Ayn's the one that's doing the best. He's after those snacks again. <gasps> Adam, no! And I'm, I'm out. I'm dead. <laughs> Stu has taken out Jung. Stu versus Ayn, although Ayn, 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 Ayn's given himself quite a uh, quite a boost. Because Stu's taking in some, ch some cheeky hits on him. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, Stu. He's got you, though. Ayn's got you. Ayn has won! Good job, Ayn. Good job. <laughs> Good job, doggy. Good job. Good job. There we go. Ayn is the... Ayn is the winner. I don't really know what sort of dancing that is, but I was sort of trying to join in. Does he get a treat now? Yes. Whether he'll come upstairs or not is a different matter entirely, but I'll call him. I'll try and call him. I don't think he's going to though. You know why? It's because I, I can smell pizza in the house. <laughs> I can't normally smell, but I can tell somebody's made pizza. Yeah, he's 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 not gonna come, I don't think. Oh well. Ah, poor Ayn. It's all right. He'll be in charge for tomorrow, and I'll give I'll give him some treats tomorrow. I can make him come tomorrow. You had an epic dinner. What did you have, Stu? What did you eat today? Yes. What did What did we all eat for dinner today, guys? I made a. Uh, I, I preemptively before I finished work, I put in the oven a bunch of a uh, bunch of stuff to be slowly simmered, and had had a, had a stew. See you later, says Jung. No worries, Jung. I'll catch you later. Yes. You had venison. Venison steak, board sausage, confit duck, now new potatoes and egg. Boar. Oh, boar sausage, not board sausage. I was thinking, I was going to ask. I was going to ask. What is a board sausage when it's at home? Like, you know. <laughs> is it just literally a pig that somebody has, uh, someone, someone has, someone has just read, I don't know, the Encyclopedia Galactic to. And this and this poor this poor pig has cacked it from pure boredom. 
then you ended up with bored pork and bored sausages and bored gammon. <laughs> I know it's spelled different. Don't don't slap me. But yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's what popped to mind. That's what popped to mind. See. Now, as we as we as we as we finish up, guys, and raid, and then I've got work at six a.m., so I have to go straight to bed. I'm gonna go straight to sleep. Uh, I'm gonna show you my new TV layer if I can if I can get it to automatically go to the right one. <laughs> it should do if I tell if I tell it that I want it to I want it to go straight to it then it's uh, it should do so you can all you can all you can all assess my newest my newest my newest exit exit screen <laughs> here we go oh no it's a different one it's all right you know what? let's try switching it let's try switching it oh it's the same one is it the same one every time shouldn't be damn it i just literally told made it like a hundred percent chance let's just make it a thousand percent chance go on yay yay we've made we've we've got a we've got a skype futurama call going on and they've been they've been hanging out watching the slightly wilson show the whole time <laughs> so this is uh, this is our newest the newest one yeah right we're gonna find someone to raid can we raid i actually find it kind of trippy like watching it because they they are all on different rotations at different speeds so they're all constantly moving and your eyes just end up flicking back and forth thinking oh who's gonna move next who's gonna move next it's actually quite where's your head in a jar i ain't done that yet it's like study with me show what's a study with me show john is it like where there's a bunch of people on a skype call i've never seen that before it sounds interesting now I'm, um, I'm having a gander through my list, but I can't see if there's anyone I know on. No. I feel like there's a lot less people I know streaming nowadays. Hmm. Surprisingly. Surprisingly. I don't recognize a lot of these names. Happy Pear has joined the battle. Bruh! Did you have to open your door to shout when I got to sleep? Oh, really, Pear? I'm sorry. Well, I'm, I'm going to bed now as well. It's, I've got work at 6 a.m. Raid my uncle. Is your uncle streaming? Kind of Zoom class. I mean, I was shouting for Ein Pear because he did he did win the battle royale, so we wanted to give him some snacks, but he didn't he didn't come upstairs anyway. Hmm. Oh, you know who's back on? I haven't seen in a while. Poor Fox Hand, and he's doing Baldur's Gate three, which Stu was just asking about. So we'll we'll do that. We'll raid Mr. Poor Fox Hound, and then I'm going to go get my bed ready. I just wish I fell asleep five minutes later. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty. It's pretty terrible timing. <laughs> I'll get banned. What for? For, for nipplers? For nipplers? What the hell are nipplers anyway? I don't even know what those are. <laughs> like nipple tassels. Rook, 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 rook. Nip, nipple, nipple tasslers. Yeah. There we are. Yes, we're going. We're going. We're going to go. I haven't got many nips under this jacket. They don't really exist. <laughs> we're off to go. Yes, go raid Paul Foxhound. Give him a big huzzah. He's um he's he's apparently waving around a very large flute in Baldur's Gate Three. So. <laughs> I'll see you there. Until next time, guys. Tomorrow, 7 p.m. UK, where we are continuing a slightly scientific Starfield system sprint. Hope you have a good evening. Sleep well. And as always, folks, don't touch that dial. Wait, which button is it? Oh.